broken my love I won't disguise this place Sound travels through me As I twist on Hey guys, it's Asha. I am wearing a top. I just wanted to point that out. It's just like a little boob tube. Uh, but today I wanted to do kind of a different video to anything I've really done on my channel before. And it's kind of like a wrap up of the year video. So what I've learned from 2017, what my resolutions were at the start of the year, did I achieve these? And kind of overall what 2017 was like for me, because it was a really, really hectic year. It was probably, or it definitely was the craziest year of my life. If you guys didn't know, I moved um, from Brisbane to Sydney. I pretty much packed up my entire life, moved down to Sydney, didn't really know a lot of people. I knew, I know, I have a couple of friends that live kind of like an hour or two away, but I really did not know pretty much anybody living in kind of the city area where I am now. And yeah, I moved down here for my first ever full-time job um, in marketing and fashion. And there have been a lot of learnings and um, really good times and some not so good times this year. So I wanted to kind of reflect on those with you guys because um, I was thinking of doing a video kind of just all about my 2018 goals and resolutions, I guess. Uh, but when I was thinking about what I actually wanted those to be, I found that I really reflected a lot on what happened to me this year. I make that sound so dramatic, like what happened to me this year. Nothing super bad or dramatic happened. There's just been a lot of tiny little um, events and things that have happened in 2017 that have really helped to shape me. And I think I've grown so much this year because it's been such a big year for me. And so I figured that the video I make for you guys should be more so about 2017 and what I've learnt from that um, going into 2018. I feel like if you really reflect, oh my god, did you guys just hear my stomach um, grumble? I'm really hungry. <laughs> um, but if, I feel like if you reflect on what's happened to you in the previous year, that is a really, really good way to help you set what you want to do for the following year. It's more achievable, I guess, because you actually have something to build that um, New Year's resolution or goal off. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys are thinking for the new year. I just think it's such an interesting thing and everybody always has different goals and resolutions. So make sure you leave a comment down below. We can have a little conversation all together and just talk about all of our goals for the new year. So when I was um, thinking of doing this video, I actually ended up finding this little diary that I made at the beginning of 2017 and it has a list of all of the resolutions that I set. Some of these are real deep. Like, <laughs> let me tell you guys, when I write in, and when I journal, it is deep AF. But that's fine, I feel like everyone's probably like that. So let's read this out and see what I actually achieved and what I didn't. I think this will be really funny. Um, so the first one is to keep a diary. Didn't really do that one. Um, me, when I keep a diary, it's something that I do when I'm feeling upset and I just really need to get my thoughts out on paper. It's a really, really great, great. <laughs> it's a really great way for you to process kind of what's happening and come up with a resolution or kind of just to help you deal with a crappy situation that you're going through. And so for me, I don't really write down like everything that's happening in my life because I have my YouTube channel for that. But I think when it comes to situations where you kind of don't know what to do, it is really, really helpful to write them down and journal them. So I definitely did that four times during this year where I was going through something, but not all the time. Uh, the next one is upload one video a week. I think I did that for the most part. I might have missed a couple, so I don't know. I guess I didn't completely achieve that goal, but... Whoops. <laughs> the next one is eat healthy during the week and indulge on the weekend. <laughs> Do you guys ever look back at yourself a year ago and just think, like, it just makes you cringe? Even, like, six months ago, I'm like, what was I doing? Why did I say that? Why did I wear that? And this is one of those moments. Indulge on the weekend. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that one. I definitely have eaten more healthy as a whole, but that indulge on the weekend thing, like, no. I indulge during the week as well. The next one is, oh my gosh, I so did not do this at all. Walk home from work at least twice a week and do more at-home workouts. I did not do that, like, not even once, I don't think. 
The next one is to travel, and I did travel, I went to Bali and London. The next one is meditate, didn't do that once. It would be really cool to do that, but I did not do that. The next one is draw more, I absolutely love drawing, but it's very time consuming for me because I'm extremely particular with what I draw, so it takes me a long, long time. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do that one, which I'm kind of sad about, but um, hopefully this year. So I'm not going to set it as an actual resolution, but I think I'm doing some drawing uni classes, which will be really helpful for that one. Uh, the next one is read more. Did not read more, but I did listen to more audiobooks and podcasts. The next one, <laughs> this is another cringe moment. Stress less about silly things. Um... Next one is have a good skincare regime and I actually do think that I really did that. My skin has improved so much especially in the past couple of months and I think it's because I have a set amount of products I use every morning and night and also just from being healthier. So if you guys want to see kind of like a how I, how I cleared my skin up, it's not completely clear. I still get some little pimples here and there but if you guys would like to see a skincare routine video, let me know in the comments. Uh, the next one is do more YouTube collaborations. I did do a couple of these with Steph and um, Kat, but not too many. The next one is explore Sydney. I definitely explored Sydney because it was the first year of me living here. And then the next one is vlog more. And I think I did that one as well. I vlogged like Splendor, I vlogged when we went to Bali. Overall, I think it was about half and half. But when I look at this list, I just kind of realised that this year, going into 2018, setting really specific things that are kind of unachievable, like walk home from work twice a week. I've never done that in my life. I don't know why I thought that that would be a thing that happened, but um, yeah, this year I've kind of realized that I want my overall goal to be not necessarily um, tiny little resolutions, but just kind of an overall concept for me to take into the new year, which is based off reflecting off this year. Um, and I think when I look at those resolutions, the bigger, the bigger picture for me for 2017 was just pushing myself out of my comfort zone and kind of running at everything and just not looking back. And I really am quite proud of myself for doing that. And I don't think it's a bad thing to say that sometimes, um, but I definitely pushed myself out of my comfort zone more than I ever have in my entire life. When I was living in Brisbane, I had all my friends in the house I was living in. I had my family down the road, I had my uni down the road, my job that I've been at for years. And I got a call one day saying that I got the job at ASOS in Sydney. And so I pretty much packed up my entire life left everyone and moved to a city that I didn't know with no people that I knew into a job that I've kind of, I've never had like a full-time nine to five job. So it was freaking scary. It was absolutely petrifying. But I remember thinking to myself, and I think this is definitely something that I want to take with me into the future for my entire life, is that this opportunity is really, really scary, but if I don't take it, I will always think about what could have happened if I had have taken it. And I feel like that can apply to a lot of situations in your life, like just take something and just go with it. And if it doesn't work out, it's fine because it's better off something not working out and you taking a step back than what it would be if you just spend a year or however long thinking about what actually could have happened. And I'm so glad that I made the choice to come to Sydney. I have the most amazing boyfriend here now. I've met some really amazing people um, and I absolutely love my job. So definitely glad that I took that opportunity. But it was really scary at first. Like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't really know anybody. I moved into a house that I found on flatmates.com with people I had never met. Um, and I haven't really been in a position where I've had to make really close friends for a very long time because I'm so close with all of my high school friends. Um, so I think it was really good for me. Now I want to talk a little bit about the overall things I've learned from last year and also my, my bigger picture goal for 2018, which has kind of been built off those things, those learnings from 2017. So my first learning is that you are only one individual person and I mean you could take that out however you like but for me I <laughs> I do a lot of things I have my I have my job like my nine to five job I have my YouTube channel of course and then I'm also at uni and I also want to have a social life of course and I think last year there were definitely times where I just pushed myself over the limit and just went too far because I'm always trying to juggle everything and this year, although I really want to achieve in all of those areas, 
I think it's really important to just take some time out and rest when you need to because I did get quite sick a few times from just like working myself into the ground. The next one is it's okay to be vulnerable. That sounds really deep but I feel like this video is quite deep. I haven't done a video like this in um, a very long time. I have to be really careful of time because I need to leave in seven minutes for a flight up to the Sunshine Coast. But it's okay to be vulnerable and naturally I am a very, like I'm an emotional person. I do get upset really easily and I do feel emotions really strongly but at the same time I'm very closed off. I don't talk about my feelings a lot like how I'm actually feeling. I don't really open up to a lot of people. Like if I go into situations where I don't know anyone or it's kind of a new thing for me, sometimes I tend to just close myself off and like get really, really shy. I just, I find it quite hard to talk to people because I guess I'm scared of judgment. And so this learning, it's okay to be vulnerable. I think going into 2018, I want to apply that to a lot of situations in my life. If it comes to new social settings that I'm going into, it's okay to walk up to a person that you don't know and say hi or like when it comes to my friends or family or my boyfriend like it's okay to talk about your feelings <laughs> I need to stop laughing because this isn't funny it's serious <laughs> and then the last learning is kind of me learning what the definition for myself of success is I feel like a lot of people think that being successful is having heaps of money or so popular or liked by heaps of people having an amazing career and in no way shape or form am I saying that I have those things I definitely do not have all of those things it's not my version of success I think moving away from all of my friends all of my family for a career was a really really exciting thing for me and in no way shape or form do I regret doing that but I think that it's also just made me realize that for me, being successful isn't based off trying to achieve those career or money driven goals. Based off having really, really great relationships with everybody that I love, being a really kind person to people, and also just being happy overall. Money, a career, that kind of stuff isn't necessarily going to make you happy. Uh, but I'm really, really glad that I, that is something that I've like knuckled down and realized this year. And then. My overall goal for 2018 is about transparency and vulnerability and I feel like you can take that so many different ways uh, but I feel like it's definitely based a lot off that it's okay to be vulnerable learning. I just want to put myself out into situations where I might not always be comfortable and just make myself vulnerable I guess and that seems I guess kind of scary but I feel like it's something that I really need to do for myself. And then transparency, I think with my YouTube channel, I want to be more transparent with you guys about my life, what's happening, um, and I feel like this is like a good opening video to do that because I have been quite closed off for 2017 uh, just because there was so much going on in my life, but now that I'm feeling really settled, I think it'll be a really good time to open up to you guys a lot more and be a lot more transparent with you, and not even with you guys, with everyone else in my life as well, just transparent about what's what's going on, about my emotions. <laughs> I feel like this video is just coming back to my emotions, but yeah, there have been some like really tough times this year where I felt lonely and I missed my family, I feel really, really homesick, or I don't know what I'm doing, and I guess I don't necessarily always reach out to people and tell them about that, but when I do, it's really great to talk to a friend or, or a family member about those things. And if you guys don't have someone to reach out to, you can always reach out to me. My email address is linked down below. You can DM me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys so much. It's like my favorite thing to do. When you guys message me on Instagram and say that my videos have like made your day or just ask me questions, um, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing ever. So I think that's everything I have to say for this video. I'm really, really looking forward to 2018. I think it's going to be a great year. 2017 was a really great year and I'm so excited to go into 2018 and have an even better year. Uh, so again, don't forget to leave me one of your goals or resolutions um, down in the comments down below. I would love to start a conversation with you guys about this kind of fresh 2018 topic and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!